Hey, happy Sunday, my loves. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. All right, I was prompted to go into this golden deck today, guys. Uh, I'm just going to finish shuffling here. And I also am prompted to go into the angelic deck toward the end of the reading. So those of you who believe in angels, you might want to stick around. Um, talk about angels. Here is the opposite, right? So let's see. This, this should be very interesting. Let's see what we have here. I am offering $20 reads and one-on-one uh, -on -one phone readings as uh, a new service. You guys can see all the services if you click on the description below the video. All right, guys, here we have the devil card. Now, the devil card can mean a lot of different things, okay? It's generally not a positive card. So it looks like a lot of you, um, because all the rest of the cards in this layout are absolutely uh beautiful as far as being positive okay it looks like you have moved away Aquarius so you guys are all moving away from this kind of thing in your life okay this could be anything from people to places to things um just things that make you feel uneasy or you know a feeling of entrapment this could also be some of you getting divorced or separated, uh, you know, moving away from those unhappy relationships, cutting the cord, basically. That's what I'm hearing with this card very clearly, cutting the cord. So for a lot of you, you're going into this um, next, um, what do you want to call this? This this looks like a whole new vibrational set of just beautiful emotions and balancing and things coming uh, into perfection for you in some way. I'm feeling a love vibe here for you. I'm feeling a balancing vibe here for you. And I'm feeling that a lot of you are starting to feel good about yourselves because you're departing from this. All right. So this 10 of cups is an amazing card. This tells you Aquarius that the things that you have dreamt about, the things you fantasized about and have wanted, uh, some of you for your whole life, let's say, all right, things you've been really dwelling on. And you know those things I'm talking about since you're little that you're thinking, this is a total fantasy. It could never come true because it's just too beautiful and magnificent and perfect. Well, get ready because these things are going to come to fruition for you. That is the meaning of the Ten of Cups, that your dreams, your wishes, the things you're wanting are getting ready to come to fruition, to happen for you, okay? And these things are unfolding because of the new you, Aquarius, the fact that you're moving away from negativity, you're understanding that you can create your life, you're a creator, and bring in all these positive, beautiful things. And we're going to move along here and see uh, specifically. All right, so here is an ending. They're saying there's an ending coming, guys. And endings are not always negative, okay? Um, this is something that you just never thought was going to affect you, this, this ending they're talking about. It's not something that is, um, you know, in your circle of, of, uh, relationships or anything like that. This is something on the outside that is ending that is going to affect you in ways that you can't even imagine, all right? So thus we have the Five of Swords. This is you looking the other way, um, not expecting anything, maybe not even knowing about this ending or hearing about this ending, but this is uh, something that's going to happen that is going to affect each and every one of us, okay? And we have this King of Cups here, this masculine energy, um, who is spreading love, okay? And because of this, this again has a fifth dimensional feel. You're spreading love, you're spreading happiness. And when you spread this love, when you do a kind gesture for others, your cup is overflowing with just this beautiful energy and this beautiful feeling of joy and happiness, okay? And then, you know, with this ending is coming a great victory for you, Aquarius, all right? We're going to see if Spirit's going to give us more on that because it sounds very interesting, all right? We have um, two, two feminines here, 
and there is stuckness in between the two of you all right and i'm seeing that one of you this has to do with money one of you has to kind of um i don't know if if walking away is the right terminology here but one of you has to back down all right if you want to save this relationship and i feel like this is maybe two sisters or some type of family members that are having a squabble regarding money okay and i do see that if one of you backs down a bit there there's going to be good news around the money so it doesn't mean that one of you is going to lose out on the money but it's going to somehow bring balance to the relationship which is going to alter uh the situation for the better if that's making sense all right we have uh somebody's moving toward something that you're just completely unaware of right now you're you're just moving blindly into a situation that you have no uh knowledge about and it looks to be having something to do wow wow give me a second guys let me look at this again because um this is about this is about the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune next to it, okay? So this is about some kind of new, uh, um, some kind of new money coming in. Like money coming in from a direction that you would have never imagined, you would have never guessed. This isn't work. This isn't, you know, like we've been talking about this week. I've been saying you guys are going to start seeing money coming in in dribs and drabs from all different areas, whether it's a check in your mailbox all right, or, you know, an unexpected raise or bonus at work, or it's just going to start showing up in drips and drips. This is the just when it starts coming in like flowing, like flowing, coming in like crazy, right? The Ace of Pentacles lets us know that we have this new uh, financial beginning, okay? So this is a whole new a uh, financial start, a new financial beginning, and it's on top of the abundance card, okay, which is very good, all right, they're saying that this money is going to come from this unexplained almost, like it will be explained, but a lot of people are going to be confused about it, a lot of people aren't going to ever really understand it, because it's going to be so mind-boggling, and this is about the um the restoration the financial restoration that's coming to all of us okay um and i'm seeing this abundance card here next to it all right so they're talking about the abundance and they're saying that a lot of people uh, more people than not are never going to be able to understand comprehend wrap their head around what this is where it came from and why it is so Although you're going to be wealthy and deliriously happy about it, um, you're just never going to really fully understand it, okay? Um, possibly when that time comes, and it could be very soon, uh, possibly after that I might be able to explain it to you, okay, when I can speak more freely on the channel, all right? But here I have the lover's card. I have two masculines here. Okay, so I feel like uh, I have a page of wands and a king of wands here. A very competitive type of um, vibe. So the two of you, I feel, were competing regarding this lover. Uh, you both wanted the same person. And, you know, one of you is obviously going to be doing some major healing. And it does appear that you both were madly in love with this person or are madly in love with this person. All right. This person is, you feel, all of your happiness and all of your, your dreams, your fantasies are, you know, vested in this one person. But the two of you... Um, have very deep connections and feelings for this person, all right? And I feel like it's going to be the King of Wands who is going to be needing to do the healing, unfortunately. Now, the page might be slightly younger. Um, this is somebody who's very intelligent. The King might be more settled and have more money, but um, 
uh, it's looking like the page is going to be uh, the, the choice here of the person um, that you're vying for. All right, so let's continue. If this is you, please, um, if you feel like it, I know you may, you may not, but can you please comment below the video? I'm vying for uh, a person or something like that. All right, so here I'm seeing the chariot. <clears throat> you know, when I say these things, guys, when I tell people to comment, it's more for you guys. Um, I hope you read through the comments because then you're going to see that all of the readings I'm doing here, all of the energies I pick up on in the public readings um, are attached to someone out there that I am on point and I am very good at what I do because how can I not be? I have spirit, you know, uh, leading the way. So... But it gives all you guys a chance to see, you know, who is uh, attached to what reading, so to speak. All right. So here I'm seeing a feminine making some type of decision. All right. I'm seeing um, things are changing for you very quickly and you need to make a decision on something that is difficult for you because you've been holding on to this. And I feel like it might be a person that you're holding on to, even though you know that you can no longer hold on to this person for whatever reason. All right. And a decision has to be made now. You're at that point where there's no more sitting on the fence. All right. Spirit is saying that when you make this decision and it's not going to be easy for you because obviously you're going to need to leave this person for whatever reason. After you make this decision, Spirit is saying that your life is going to change dramatically in a way where you this is going to be unexpected for you. It's going to, doors are going to open for you. Positive things are going to start coming in for you. And just a lot of unexpected growth in your life is going to show up, okay? So guys, let's continue and see what else we have here. All right, wow, the emperor here in the center, in the center next to the opportunity card. All right, this is about uh, one of my more mature masculines. You've been around the block. You have um, a lot of business sense, I feel. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing some kind of movement away, like you're, you're leaving your business or something. This might be... Uh, because a new opportunity is presenting itself. So you're not anywhere near ready to retire, which is what I thought this was going to be about. All right. But I'm seeing and feeling that you're going for a brand new opportunity. However, spirit is saying to take, take some time and look into this because it's not what it appears to be. Okay. They're saying that there's something behind this opportunity that is not going to work out well for you. And it has something to do with um, someone or something uh, behind the scenes not being on the up and up. So someone's going to do something or try to get over on you or do something that is going to bring some kind of harm to you. Uh, with this new opportunity. Okay. So they're basically saying, stay away, stay clear of this opportunity. Is that making sense? All right. So let's go further. Um, okay. So here I'm seeing and feeling, I'm feeling this feminine, this queen of cups, and I'm feeling you because you're so powerful. You're an empath and you have uh, a lot of abilities that you are unaware of that you have. Okay. And I'm seeing you going through this big transformation right now you are carrying the world on your shoulders okay you're going through something extremely stressful and a lot of changes are coming on you very quickly okay almost so fast that your head is spinning and this is stressing you out to the max however you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now all of this is happening for a reason for your betterment okay and this transformation card which is in the center of your reading is specific to what you're going through you are going through a very intense spiritual 
awakening right now, if you will. This is going to be your justice, this awakening, okay? During the course of this awakening, your um, abilities are going to come online and they're going to be so magical and strong for you, all right? you I don't know how they're going to show up. You might start seeing things, hearing things. You might be able to do uh, telepathy with people, just kind of you know, say what they're thinking before they say it. I have this going on in my life right now, by the way. And it seems to generally happen around people that I'm close to. But this is going to be, this is going to be a new start for you. It's going to open up a big door in the sense that something within you is going to change as far as you you're going to want to do something different in life. You're going to start wanting to help people. Um, you might be doing that now, but this is going to be different, okay? Because you're going to be having all these new, beautiful, um, spiritual, uh, a spiritual gain of, of many different things coming in that is going to help you um, just be magnificent in what you're going to choose to get into and whatever it is, it's all about helping others. Okay. And this is going to be a great justice for you. So <clears throat> that's a beautiful reading. Um, and I, I wish that for many of my beautiful empaths out there. Okay. So here I'm seeing some kind of, uh, celebration I want to see around, I want to say rather around this 10 of pentacles. All right. So, so they're saying in essence, get ready guys, get ready to start celebrating. Wow. All right. So look at this. We have the celebratory card next to the 10 of pentacles, which is basically getting all of your dreams, everything coming true from wealth, material wealth, happiness, joy, celebration with your family. Okay. So that's what they're saying. Get ready. Look forward to this. Enjoy the ride to, to getting there. Okay. Start having faith. Your faith in this guys is going to bring this in, or it's going to help bring it in. All right. Because you're going to be able to uh, by, by, by getting excited and having this faith, you're going to raise your vibration and you're going to start pulling these things in, but this is something that you've wanted, right? Dreamt about. And this is also good news around the financial aspect of this. Okay. So this is going to bring this in so that you don't have to go through this anymore. This is something you may have felt up until the moment that this comes in. And they're saying that this is so close now. All right. So you notice all of these beautiful positive cards coming forward. And then just this, the one negative card at the end where maybe you're losing sleep. Maybe you're having a hard time uh, paying things off right now. Maybe you're just, you know, like me, you know, suffering from insomnia, knowing something huge is coming. Um, every, uh, it's like every hair on my body is standing up now and just, I'm feeling everything, right? I'm feeling every little thing that is going on around me as if, um, I'm very, I'm just going to say I'm very sensitive to things. Okay. Um, you know, I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things. I heard something sounded like a bomb went off this morning and I was in the bath and the whole bath was shaking. The bathroom was shaking and it sounded like a bomb went off. I texted my daughter who's in the house with me and she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so for me, it felt like a bomb went off literally. Okay. And guys, I don't know if you experience things like this too. I'm interested if you do, uh, if you are experiencing things like you're very sensitive to, to what's going on and, you know, others maybe around you in your house are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, um, please comment because, uh, I just like to know and hear about these things from my, my beloveds. All right. So let's get going with the angelic deck and see what beautiful messages, if any spirit has for us. Let's have a look and see. 
Okay. So, Aquarius, on this Sunday, Spirit wants us to know about hostilities, okay? So we were talking about some of this last, uh, well, maybe a couple days ago. Um, third dimensional comes to mind when I see this. Just people feeling angry right now. They're all around us. Um, they're flipping us off. They're cutting us off on the road. They're screaming on the road. They're losing their shit, right? Are you seeing people losing their shit? Because I am. All right, so first card up is the hostilities. Let's see what's next. Okay, uh, Archangel Shmuel. Okay, so guys, Archangel Shmuel. What is what does he do? Does anybody know? Well, I'm going to tell you. He is peaceful. All right, so the opposite of hostilities. Okay, he helps people find peace. He's also about protection. Um, and he also relates well to God and others and inspires people to see God. And I find this very interesting um, because I have decided, just a, a personal decision I made for myself and my daughter, she also wants to be a part of it, I've decided that I want to become um, baptized. I don't know if I was baptized when I was a baby, um, but even if I was, you know, if you, if you know the meaning of becoming baptized, you're basically giving yourself up to God again and you're you're asking to once again have your sins forgiven and start over with Christ and have a very close, beautiful relationship with Christ, right? So that's where I'm at right now. And uh, I, I feel that my daughter could definitely use that. So I, um, I'm taking her with me. I'm very excited about this. Uh, but anyway, so we're going back to the third chakra with this Archangel Shemuel, who's the opposite interestingly enough, of hostilities. So what I'm feeling, and I'm going to see if this third card might give me some confirmation on this, but I'm feeling that uh, this angel is telling us to, for, they want us to be more like them and, and act angelic when we're out there in the field, so to speak. Going outside of my house for me is like being out in the field. It's like being in a jungle for me. It's so crazy. I don't even like to leave anymore because just not just the energy outside, but the people are losing their shit. I can't say it enough. All right. But I'm getting from this that, you know, this angel is telling us no matter who we run into, no matter how hostile they are, no matter what people are doing, um, we need to be kind. Okay. Our kindness is not just for us. Okay, so that we can become the real person we, we actually want to be. Coming into our, our authenticity, right? Because if we lower ourselves and become hostile back to the hostiles, then we are no longer vibrating up here. We lower our vibration and bring ourselves down to their level vibrationally, right? So we need to, if we're authentic, we need to drop our egos and just be, they want us to be angelic like them. Okay. And then they're saying deceit. All right. So this is screaming to me that we are still fighting some evil out there. It, we are in a fight right now. We are living in a biblical time. This is good against evil. Okay. Most of you know about this. Okay. Um, if you don't know that we're in this big, uh, time in history that this time we're in right now is going to make make it into the history books that we are living in this uh crazy warfare time where we are fighting uh good against evil but for the most part we've won okay but they are saying there is still deceit out there and hostilities okay and the best way for us to fight through that is to remain our authentic selves and be an angel. Be like the angels, okay? And keep putting out that powerful energy that we have because we are the light. We are the lighthouse. And the more we shine our light, the, the further away these things go 
The light destroys these things, okay? So when we're just doing nice things for other people or have a, a, a good thought, I like doing the visuals when I'm out and just visualizing hearts and gold bars floating around people's heads. You know, when you do that, guys, do it as an experiment because you might be... Uh, <laughs> You might be blown away. Start looking at people's faces when you're visualizing something along that line and see all of a sudden people are smiling. People are happy. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys. Something really strange happened to me and someone else told me a very similar story happened to them a couple years ago. And now I'm thinking um, that people that suffer from these, um, you know, down syndromes and, and things like this, these people are, you know, they've chosen to come back and, and be this way. And I see why now I always questioned it. Why would anybody want to do that? Right? Why would they want to reincarnate and come back with some kind of big disability? So here's the story. I'm leaving the, the food store. Actually, I'm going in the food store and this particular day, I was really upset regarding, you know, a person that I lost recently that I, I guys have mentioned this. All right. Um, and I was feeling very upset and this woman came walking past me and behind her was her daughter. Her daughter was older, but obviously someone suffering from down syndrome and this person, this, this down syndrome, beautiful light. Okay, looked me in the eye as she approached me and came straight up to me without uttering a word and wrapped her arms around me and gave me a hug. And it was in that very moment when I just, it did so much for me. It like lifted me out of my depression. I'm getting teary eyed talking about it. This woman, I want to say, knew. She just knew energetically that I needed that hug and she wanted to give me her light. And it was a beautiful, beautiful moment. And I was telling someone about this and they told me they had a similar experience like a couple years ago or something like that. And this blew me away because this is why some people come back as that. Okay. They are showing us that they're they're still able to spread light and spread uh, positivity throughout the world no matter what no matter what people think of them and there's probably more to that that I'm not aware of but it's just a beautiful story I'll never forget that and guys I hope you have the most beautiful uh, rest of your Sunday and until tomorrow take care